Hi, I'm here at the Taliesin Arts Centre and I am here with Andrew McCormack. Hi, Andrew. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. You seem quite tired. Why are you tired? Um, on the road with Carl Eastwood Band and um, yeah, we've been on the road for about two weeks now and there's another week to go and um, yeah, not getting enough sleep. <laughs> so has it been all in the UK or... Um, yeah, I mean, we've, um, we had a gig at Madeira Film Festival um, and that was quite a schlep because it was 12 hours travelling there doing the gig. I think we were there for 16 hours and then we did uh, 12 hours travelling back. So, um, so yeah, it's exhausting. <laughs> Have you played with Carl for long? Yeah, um, I've played with him for at least seven, if maybe not, eight years um, so um, yeah I've, I've sort of been involved in the band um, uh, since I don't know um, since it all started to kind of take off and get going again um, you're on his album aren't you the what is it songs from the chateau is it yeah, yeah um, the whole band was involved in um, uh, writing the music for that and so um, so I was heavily involved in collaborating with Kyle and uh, you know um, putting the music together so when did you start to play the piano um, when I was about 13 years old I, I um, got into jazz music and uh, um, <clears throat> it wasn't from a musical family so um, so I started maybe a bit later than than a lot of my you know contemporaries um, but my mum wanted me and my sister to learn the piano so she bought this piano when I was about seven and uh, never really kind of took to it but then um, when I was 13 I just kind of got really into it and uh, yeah, and I've kept at it, so. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, did you go to a music college or did you? Yeah, I went to the Guildhall School of Music. Um, uh, studied with Simon Purcell um, and he became uh, my mentor. He was um, very caring about, uh, you know, he's very caring about all of his students. Um, uh, but it was really great to have someone that was trying to get you to push yourself but at the same time you know push yourself into learning you know the music but still remaining you know uh, an individual as opposed to a you know a Bud Powell clone or a Herbie Hancock clone or something like that so so is that, <laughs> so is that who influenced you is it Herbie Hancock do you listen to him yeah I mean there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of people um yeah, from Herbie to uh, Chick Career, Keith Jarrett. Um, I mean, there's there's all just anybody who's uh, endeavoured and has something to say um, in a masterful way is um, people I'm into. Everyone, I mean, I'm into everyone. <laughs> so, do you play other styles of music as well as jazz? Um, well, I mean, I'm primarily a, an improvising musician, so um, it's kind of what I want to spend my time on is, is improving as, a, as an improvising musician. Um, but I was, I've, I've also been really interested in classical composition. Um, and uh, I studied with Mark Anthony Turnage privately for a few years and... Um, and through that, you know, he, he really helped me sort of get get some skills together as a composer. And I did some I did some work for the LSO. Um, I got uh, I got through their Panufnik scheme, which is just a it's a young composer's platform to try out orchestral pieces with the with the symphony orchestra. Um, and after that, I was commissioned to write a ten minute piece that got played at the Barbican. Wow. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Um, and since then, I haven't really, um, I haven't really focused so much on that. I've, I've been focusing on my piano playing a lot more. 
working on the duo that I have with Jason Yard. Um, I was going to say, so what is, the, what is that duo about? Well, it's just, um, I mean, it's, I mean, the idea was to, to, co- to, to sort of co-lead something with, a, with another guy who's a composer as well as an improvising musician. Um, and I've always, you know, been into Jason's music for, you know, ever since I've heard him. Uh, what does Jason play? A saxophone. Um, yes, yeah, piano saxophone duo. So, um, and it's a challenge when it's just the two of you because you have to, um, you know, you have to entertain an audience for an hour, and it's just you. There's no, there's no flashy drum solos or anything like that. So. Um, but uh, it's been very good for me as a, you know, it's really pushed my playing. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good project to be involved in. Is so that you're gonna, what you're going to be doing in the future? Yeah, I mean, I've got some ideas about some things I'd like to do. Um, I'd like to, to get back into doing trio again. Um, I, I did the last sort of trio work I was doing was really about, you know, about, um, well, five years ago now, really, four or five years ago, um, and uh, yeah, I think it's due a return visit. <laughs> well, that sounds very well. <laughs> well, thank you, Andrew. Oh, one more question that I actually did ask Kyle, but you're better at this because you actually play the piano. So, if you could be any note on the piano, which one would you be and why? <laughs> it's a bizarre question. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, any note that will have me. <laughs> oh, Andrew. <laughs> well, thank you very much.